She know what she need, no I need it. Oh man. She know what she need, no I need it. Now you guys know why I produce and why I don't sing. What's up guys? There's a new AI generated song going completely viral called Heart on My Sleeve by a TikToker named Ghostwriter977 because it sounds so much like Drake and The Weeknd. I'm gonna show you exactly how the beat was made, some problems with the beat, some things we should fix, and then exactly how Ghostwriter made their voice sound like these two hit artists. So first things first, getting into the beat, we're in FL Studio, and if we're being honest, this melody, this piano melody that plays throughout the song, it sounds like your third grade cousin found the piano in the living room at a family party. Yeah, not good. So we're gonna remake this um, and then hopefully make it a little bit more club friendly because this is the melody, it'll kind of make you go crazy. So this is a Nexus Grand Piano that I'm using. I'm gonna throw an EQ on it, take out some of the low frequencies, and then also RC20 Retro Color to give it a, a sad piano vibe. And this plays throughout the whole song, uh, through the verses, through the chorus, everything. And then when AI generated Weekend comes in, it actually goes down an octave. There's another piano in the song during the verse that plays. It's like um, just this rhythm that plays over and over again. These are the notes. And for this piano, I have another Nexus piano called Pop Keys playing. And I just threw on some EQ and some reverb on this. And so together with the melody, it sounds like this. Now adding some drums to the verse. First up, we have a snare. The snare that I'm using is called Bean. Love that. And then I also have hi-hats that are just playing a two-step pattern or eighth notes. And I have the BWB Wave R Us hat number one. Next up in the verse is the 808. And the 808 is what makes this song bang but it's also where it kind of falls short because of the mix. We'll get into that in just a second. So the 808 that I'm using is called the Spins 808. If you can hear that, I have it set up so it's in an envelope and it's only playing when you click or when you play a key. And the second you let go, it immediately stops. Here's the pattern the 808's playing. It's gonna be super hard to hear, but I'll just demonstrate kind of the difference in just a second. To make this 808 really bang, I'm gonna put an open hat, you'll see these ghost notes, almost every time the 808 plays. And what that does, it sounds like this originally. So a little weird, but we're gonna do something called clipping, which is not normally a good thing, but in this case, it's gonna make our 808s go absolutely crazy. So on the 808, we have sausage, we have an EQ, and on our open hat and 808, we're sending them all to this channel that I'm calling a bus. We are then boosting the gain on these 808s to be ridiculously high. Here's what it sounds like, headphone warning. And then we're eliminating that clipping that's going on by using a soft clipper. So essentially taking the volume back down just a little bit, but keeping that distortion that it's giving it. And that brings us to zero. So after we route it to here, we route it to here, we send it back to the master channel. That way the 808 is getting distorted, but the rest of your mix is not getting distorted. So if we play like the whole beat so far. So what Ghost Ready did was instead of busing everything to this one track, creating that 808 distortion effect that's like a Detroit 808 style, and then sending it to the master, they just did it all on the master. So it distorted every piece of the song, the AI generated vocals, the hi-hats, the melody. And so once again, this is our finished verse. And 
next, let's get into the chorus. During the chorus, there is one more piano that comes into play here. And it is the original piano for the, uh, the same piano that's used in the melody. And these are the notes that are being played. So the chorus sounds like this in the original song. You'll notice there's like no low notes, there's no bass, there's no nothing. So while it's great to isolate the, the chorus vocals, it's missing so much depth. And so we're gonna go ahead and improve that just a little bit. What I'm doing is getting rid of that. I'm putting in a grand piano to play during the chorus and this is what that's gonna sound like. So our chorus is already sounding so much better with so much more depth, but then there's one more signature thing Metro Boomin uses. It's called the Prids Sidechain Bass. I think it's called Prids Sidechain Bass. Yeah, from the Nexus Expansion Pack Dance Volume 1. It sounds like a UFO abducted your bass line. Same notes as before. It's going to be your D sharp, your C, your G. We add this to that grand piano and the other keys that we didn't take out of the chorus. And let me actually just set up a quick comparison for you guys. So personally, I think my version's better. Obviously up for debate, but that's what I would have done, especially if I was trying to pass it off as a Metro Boomin beat, which it's not. So guys, that's really it for the beat. Like I said, when the AI generated weekend starts singing, the pianos go down an octave. So this is what that whole verse would sound like. And really the last piece of the beat is there's a small violin outro that plays. And there's a final note in that violin right here that kind of resolves everything. And for some reason, my plugin just won't use it. I'm using this contact violin plugin. I guess it just doesn't support that last note. That's an F. Now getting into the vocals of this song, Ghost Rider 977 recorded the vocals, wrote the vocals themselves. I know it doesn't sound like it, but they use AI generated vocals to sound like Drake and The Weeknd. So just to be clear, it's not a Drake in the Weekend song. UMG, don't come after me. Ghostwriter used a model to create those vocals. Now, there's a variety of models out there that I don't condone using, one being SoundDraw.io, another being SoVitz SVC. There's Reddit pages, Discords, mega downloaders to basically take your voice and make it sound like any popular or famous artist out there using these models. How the models work is they take vocals from like Drake, uh, Kendrick Lamar, Adele, Michael Jackson, and they just run them through this AI software over and over and over, hundreds to thousands to millions of times or millions of songs, whatever it is. Over time, the AI learns how to replicate any vocal input and make it sound like the person or the individual it was trained to sound like. So there's a lot of problems right now around it. Like, is it ethical? You know, you're taking the likeness of an artist and you're possibly profiting off of it by releasing a song. And from a corporate standpoint, you're taking music that you don't own commercially, you're using it to train AI software, then you're distributing the output and making money off of it. And so Universal Music Group or UMG is removing every upload of this song because Ghostwriter is saying it is a Drake and The Weeknd song, when in reality, Ghostwriter sung the lyrics and then used an AI model. So to finish up the song, I'm going to add some vocals. You guys are in for a treat today. I actually rapped or sang some of the bars for you to show you how you can mix your vocals. Um, they're so bad. So just here they are. She know what she need, no I need her. She blessed. So I'm EQing out a lot of this low end because of how deep my voice is. And also just to kind of make it shine a little bit brighter when you put lyrics on it. I'm also putting in a little bit of auto tune on my voice just a tiny bit, and we're in C minor, to kind of retune this before we go into our next mixing step. And so this is what it sounds like after those two steps. 
She know what she need, you know I need her, she blessed. Oh man, now you guys know why I produce and why I don't sing. So autotune does kind of save my voice just a little bit. It doesn't make it good by any means, but like if you crank this bad boy up, you can really make yourself sound okay. So anyways, after I recorded these OG vocals, I used the secret sauce on them. She know what she need, no I need her, she blessed her. Kinda crazy, right? Kinda crazy. So my vocals are terrible, I know that, but if we isolate some vocals and put them over this beat that I just made. All I know is you could've had the world, had the world, yeah you were my world. So guys, that's the breakdown of this song, how the beat was made, how I would fix some of the mixing problems with this, and also how Ghost Rider recorded the vocals. If you guys like this beat remake, like, subscribe, leave a comment if you think my instrumental is better, my instrumental is worse. Ghost Rider, if you're watching, I will send you this beat. It's all yours. You just got to DM me back. Um, I'll see you guys next time.